Hey there, Popper fans. Brent Cook, and I have a special treat for you today. Gruel Storm. That is correct. Gruel Storm here in Popper. I've played it previously in Modern here on this channel, but today we're bringing it to Popper for you. And the idea here is that we are going to win using Firebrand Archer and Kessig Flamebreaker. I played two leagues of this last night, and I originally started with eight of these effects. I am now down to six. I cut uh, one in the first league, and then after last night's league, I w decided I want to go down to six. In those leagues, I went 3-2 with eight lands, and then 4-1 with nine lands. And this deck has a lot of potential. It's super powerful, and it's also a blast to play. Like, I just really enjoy playing this deck, so I hope you like it. And we're using these effects to kill our opponent, essentially just pinging them to death with these pingers. But we have first day of class to give them haste, which means that they can also attack for a little bit of extra damage. So that way you don't have to quite cast 20 spells or 10 spells. You know, seven can sometimes get the job done with first day of class or even maybe less. So that is the idea here. But we also have this goblin, or, uh, I'm sorry, a narcomancer. There we go. I can talk. Uh, to reduce the mana cost of the deck. So unlike Goblin Electromancer, a Narcomancer says red or green spells. It doesn't care if they're instant sorceries or even creatures. So this Firebrand Archer and the Kessig Flamebreaker will be reduced as well. So going back to the lands, this list is up to 10 because I found that when I lost with this deck, it's because I was forced to mulligan too low looking for initial mana sources. So I went up to 10 and then we have four copies of land grant. So we have a theoretical 14 lands, but let's say that's still too low for you. You do have abundant harvest to guarantee land drops, which is pretty powerful here. So this deck is really consistent and I really like that abundant harvest is always another action spell if you need it to be or another spell to trigger these uh, Firebrand Archers, so or the Flamebreaker as well, because sometimes you just need to keep on chaining spells, and that's what Abundant Harvest allows you to do. And the real key component to this deck is Galvanic Relay, in my opinion, uh, creating card advantage. You do have Reckless Impulse, but sometimes it just doesn't feel like quite enough, so we have this Galvanic Relay to really end the game. And one of my favorite things about this deck list is first day of class. It is essentially the pauper burning wish because it allows you to play less than cards out of your sideboard to get with the first day of class. So we have pest summoning to help eke in some extra damage, fractal summoning to make a really, really large creature. In one game last night, I made a 10, 10 and it was awesome. So that is why fractal summoning is here and it gets haste from the first day of class as well. So it's essentially a giant green fireball. Environmental Sciences can get a basic land, and really, when you look at this card, you should think of it as one colorless mana for one storm as long as you have a land drop. That's what it's here for. And then Introduction to Prophecy, three mana preordain. This is probably the card that I get the most, which is why there's two copies. And then Introduction to Annihilation. I haven't used this yet, but it's still just nice that it's here. And then Flaring Pain to beat Prismatic Strands and Weather the Storm for a burn decks. So that covers the entire sideboard, but there is a hidden mode with less, with learn. And that's, you don't have to get a lesson card from the sideboard. You can also just loot with it if you're low on mana. So you can just discard a land to draw a card. And if you need to, that's another way of casting land grant. So you can pull lands out of your deck, discard them to first day of class and then draw cards. So it's just more card advantage. That's my deck tech. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to put those down below. But for now, we're going to hop on in and play some magic. I will see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month. 
15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. But maybe sweet perk, secret deck list, early access to videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some magic. Welcome to round number one. We're on the draw. We've opened up one land. We do need a second land, but we have this reckless impulse. I think I'm going to try it. Hopefully we just draw a land and I don't have to worry about it. Mountain. From Star Mogwarts, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Land Grant was a terrific draw because it's going to allow me to play either effect next turn. I guess it could be Affinity with a Mountain, but ooh, it looks like we're playing the Mirror. Okay, so we're playing the Mirror, it looks like, so I'm going to want to be a little bit faster. Play this Goblin past the turn. Next turn, we can play Kessig plus some of these other effects. And uh, Rite of Flame does count both players, so we are playing the Red Storm Mirror. This is the list that did well in a challenge earlier this week. That's going to make my Rite of Flame a lot more effective because it counts both graveyards, not just your own. And they're drawing a card off the Chrome Star, sure. Make your Wellspring, yep. Right of Flame number three, quite powerful. And then Relay for nine, Deadly Dispute, okay. They're doing well so far. Relay for ten, pretty good. Draw. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I think we start on the Flame Breaker. And then... Lotus Petal triggers. And then Rite of Flame. This is going to make a bunch of mana. And then Reckless Impulse. That was really strong. So let's play another Flame Breaker. Uh, I'm wondering if I want to hold this land grant or thin my deck of a land. Let's Reckless Impulse again. Okay. Let's Desperate Ritual. So that dealt two. And then let's Reckless Impulse, looking for another Pinger effect. No Pinger. Um, it's fine, though. Let's cast Abundant Harvest. We'll say non land. Non land. Very powerful. Okay, Rite of Flame. Seething Song, and this is going to be lethal here. And Land Grant. Boom! Turn three without Galvanic Relay. You love to see it. You love to see it. That was awesome. We still had an attack with the Narcomancer and three more damage in hand. So we're playing the Mirror, where I think Weather the Storm's probably going to be pretty important. So I think we want to bring that in. Um question is what do we board out i think it would have to be something like a button harvest you can maybe sh uh, like shave one seething song and try this but whether the storm's going to be a secret ace in the mirror match okay so here i've opened up a hand that doesn't quite do anything we're gonna have to unfortunately ship this 
this seems fine. Uh, keep. I think I just get rid of the reckless. All right, so they have a turn one bridge. Island forest, pass the turn. They're going for it. Wow. From star, is this a deadly dispute? Nope. Bright of flame. And reckless impulse, okay. They did not hit a land. Let's see if that's their choke point here. And they've conceded. We won the match. Wow. Well, that was a quick round number one. We scared them into victory. Let's see what these metamorphoses would have drawn. So this would have been our draw step, land grant. Not that great here. Uh, but then we could cast Morphos into Morphos. We would have had double relay next turn. Wow. Pretty awesome. Uh, but we won match number one. Let's just head on over to match number two. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Welcome to the second match. We're on the draw again. We're going to keep this. This land grant isn't looking that great in our three land hand, but we'll try to make it work. And our opponent is already mulliganed to five. Not really the start they were looking for. Forest? Is this Bogles? It's got to be Bogles. Yeah, it is. Ooh, and a fourth land for us, not ideal. So maybe this is a closer fight than it looks like. There we go. That force was really dark for a second. There's their Bogle, two cards in hand. Cartouche. One card in hand, and they're passing. Relay was a good pickup here. Let's see if we can make it better next turn with this Reckless Impulse. That's certainly one way of doing it. Um, I'm just going to pass. <clears throat> All right. Three mana. Cloak. Cloak is scary because it increases their life total. So it makes our job at winning a lot more difficult. Draw another abundant harvest. All right. So we're going to play Lotus Petal. And let's harvest. We'll say non-land. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice this and harvest again. Non land. Ooh. Desperate Ritual. Bright of Flame. So this is going to give me six mana, which allows me to double relay. Unfortunately, I cannot land grant to increase storm. Uh, this land in my hand is stopping me from doing that. But this is a relay for a seven into a relay for eight. Okay, and now the second relay. Deck is powerful. All right, so we just have to survive this turn. Three more mana for the opponent. And that was their best draw, in my opinion. So they're going to go up to 34. And we have to deal 34 damage now. I believe we can do it. Okay, so let's start on a creature. We want to maximize the amount of damage we can do. Actually, I think we want to start on double creature because we have these lotus petals. I, I think we could do 34 damage. We can cast 17 spells here. I believe. Okay. And then red, white, cast Desperate Ritual, Seething Song, Seething Song. And now before we cast some of these other spells, let's Reckless Impulse to see if we can hit a third creature. 
And we hit a Firebrand Archer. Uh, that's pretty good. So let's cast the Archer. A little bit short on mana here, unfortunately. Mana Morphos. We might not be able to get there. Uh, we'll add red, green. Green, red. First day isn't very good. Um, I don't know what to do. Yeah, this Slippery Bogle might have won them the game. I could play the Harvest. Hoping to hit like a Rite of Flame. Not quite sure. I'm just really far away from six more spells. So I think if I was to get six more spells, it would have to start on me hitting like Rite of Flame or something off this. All right, so we'll say non-land. And that's not going to do it. First day of class. I think we fizzled. Wow. Too many lands. Oh, this is the next card, but I can't play a land. Oh, that's heartbreaking. So we have seven to chump, but they have 11 power coming in. Yeah, we're just dead. Ah. Uh, Mask into, or cloak into mask was just way too much. Damn. They got me. Uh, might as well make them attack. All right, they got it. All right, game number two coming up. The first list that I played last night actually had, um, what is it called? Reverent Silence in the board, and then I ended up cutting it for the second list. So I, I did have two, and then I refined the board a little bit. I don't think we want Weather the Storm. I think we just want to race, but it was something I was considering. Damn Cloak in the Mask. Too strong. Game number two. We're on the play. This seems fine. Keep. Okay, Mountain Pass. Turn two, we're going to land grant for a green source and play this goblin. And the Utopia Sprawl. You got it. Draw. Reveal my hand. Go get the forest. One thing I considered was going up to two copies of forest and only one highland mountain or whatever it's called. Because, like, there's a lot of games where you just want multiple untapped green sources with the land grant. The problem is that it increases your mulligan rates because there's a lot of hands that aren't keepable that you open up on just forest, where if you open up on the dual land, that hand is a keep. Okay. You have a bogle. Or, oh no, that's uh, ethereal armor, my bad. Four, four. All right, Seething Song, and then we'll play the Cassig. This allows me to essentially cast this Abundant Harvest as well this turn. Auto Yield. We'll say Non-Land. What's Reckless Impulse? Three mana floating. Pretty good. Right of Flame. Seething Song. And then First Day. I think we probably just want to get the introduction to prophecy, the glorified preordain. I can't cast another uh, relay here, but I could relay into relay if we think that's good enough. That said, I think I'm just like looking to win the game most likely next turn. I think I'm just going to bottom both. That was pretty good. Um... I think I'm going to hold it, because I think mana could end up being a choke point next turn, and I'd rather have a guaranteed Dark Ritual than an extra card. Okay, so do your best. Gruel Storm! Utopia Sprawl. 
three mana is this mask two mana so it's not mask rancor you got it sure i'll gladly take 11. happy to do it sure draw so i think we want to start on our pingers it just maximizes damage play a mountain this lotus petal is going to deal them three and then we'll auto yield to that right of flame so it turns out me holding the right of flame just didn't matter but i have had situations where you run out of mana on these relay turns so you know, it didn't happen here, but it can. We'll say non-land. Best for ritual. Okay. And then play our Lotus Petal. And this is going to deal them lethal. Going to game three now. That's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying myself here. <laughs> and we just have to hope that we're good enough. Um... I think I'm going to try this. When it mulligans to five. To four. Okay. Turn one bogle. Draw. Another relay. I wonder with this abundant harvest on turn two, if I'm supposed to say land to guarantee a third land. Guarantee a third land. I think I said that correctly. Maybe I didn't. All right, they have one card. We'll go to 17. Draw. Okay, so we're going to go get our forest here. And let's just... I think I'm going to say land. So now I have guaranteed double Seething Song for eight mana next turn, so I can Seething Song, Seething Song, first day into double relay. Okay, lifelink. Sure. Draw. Right of Flame was a terrific hit here because it allows us to cast this Abundant Harvest. Alright, so Double Seething Song. Harvest. We'll say Non Land. Land Grant. So we got a Highland Forest, and now let's first. Oh no! Oh, I can't count. Oh no. Can't believe I just did that. Um I thought that I had enough mana. Well, that's not good. Um Maybe I just get sciences because it gains life. Uh, I feel really bad about that. That hurts. Pull a mountain out of the deck, go up to 16, and then relay for 8. Oh, I can't believe I messed that up. <sighs> My opponent just said good games. I don't think that, like, there's no mana in here. We have one Seething Song. All right, so we're going to 13, they're going up to 20. I don't think that this is a good game at all. Draw. All right, so let's play the goblin here and then seething song number one and then let's first day of class we're gonna loot discard this land um i don't know whether or not to try to maximize my damage here like i don't feel like playing the first day here is the correct play now let's Morphos. I almost feel like we want to do green green, but I could be wrong. I'm going to do green green. Petal's a good pickup. What's Abundant Harvest? Because if I hit a creature here, I want to be able to play it. Non land. Get another creature. Um, let's see these song. First day. And we'll get the preordain effect here. I mean, I guess I could get the pest summoning. That might be better. 
But if I play this, I lose out on it, so I think the preordain's better. I don't have mana for the pre Oh no. I was actually going to click past something there, and then I just clicked. Sorry, I'm a little flustered. Uh, we can cast Reckless Impulse. All the mana in the world. Okay. Ritual. Ritual. Introduction to Prophecy. Um, do I bottom both of these? I don't know. Or do I just like top both? Okay. I actually can't double relay here, or else I exile my whole deck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't cast the other one. So you could attack here, but I think one of the few ways we lose is if they somehow manage to like mask and attack for a bunch. So I'm just going to pass and then we untap and definitely have lethal. Sure. All right, we're just going to take the five. I'm not going to block this. So they're going to go up to 19 again, and then we should have a win here. Draw. Play our land. That's pretty free to do. I have to imagine we have more pingers in here. It's kind of tough to see. Loot this land away. There's another one. And our opponent just conceded. We are now 2-0 over Boggles. This deck is really awesome. As you can see, I'm playing kind of poorly, and I'm still doing somewhat well. So let's just keep on at it one round at a time and uh, play a little bit tighter. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm Mini Token Pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for Grape Shot. Everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels versus Goblins, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. The third match. I don't know if I like this hand. Like, yes, we have double creature, but I don't think that's actually what matters here. So I'm not going to ship it. Yikes. Um, I guess we keep, but I don't love this hand. I just really don't want to go to five. Island. Fairies here. Not a great hand for this matchup either. So the easiest way of beating this deck is just by drawing Galvanic Relay. Draw. And while they're tapped out, we're going to reveal our hand for land grant and just go get that land. So that way this uh, Lingering can't be countered next turn by um, like a Spell Stutter Sprite or a Counter Spell or something else. So we will take one. Draw. Archer. I don't think this, this will resolve, but it's fine. And trading a Counter Spell is better than what I expected. So that worked out. Okay, so they're, they're not mono blue. Mono blue has been the trend recently. Draw. Archer. Good deal. Um, I will play the land grant here. I'd rather thin and get this tap land into play. You could hold the land grant for galvanic relay, but we don't have a relay yet, so I don't love that line. If I already had relay, I probably would have held it. But it just seems a little bit um, overly cautious to me. 
And they tapped out, so this would be a terrific time to draw Relay. Can we make it happen? Two cards. They're going to go up to three on their end step. Draw. Uh, I don't love it. I think we're in trouble. So we can play Seething Song. We could play the Flame Breaker. But I want to get the counter on it for first day because it takes it out of Lightning Bolt range. First day of class. I think I just get the introduction to Prophecy here. Play the Flame Breaker. Prophecy. Ah, uh, and there's the Relay. That's a bummer. I think that they would just block. We're just gonna pass. If I had been more gutsy, I could have just discarded the Lotus Petal to hope to naturally hit Relay like a true champion, and uh, I didn't do it. <sighs> Kicking myself a little bit. I feel like that play is just like really reckless, but it would have worked. Okay, we're at 11. I don't think we're long for this world. So... <sighs> really? Okay, I'm just going to concede here. We're not winning this game. Let's just go to game two. Bring out our Pyroblast. So this is a little bit awkward because I think Langrant's actually not very good in this matchup, but it is a part of your mana base. Um, I am playing 10 lands now. Cycle Storm plays 12, but then we have four Langrant and these Harvests. So I wonder if you're allowed to shave a Langrant or two, but I don't think so. Seedling Song can, we can at least skim on those. That's for sure, because these are such big counterspell targets. But you want a couple to win with post relay. I think you could probably remove one land grant and like maybe one harvest. Try this out. Sure, this hand seems fine. All right, mountain pass. Cool, cool, cool. Draw. Reveal our hand to land grant. Go get that forest. Play the forest and Kessig. You could play the pedal here to um, get an extra damage in, but you lose it for relay then, and that's sort of what I'm concerned about because I do think relay is the best way of uh, winning here. So I wouldn't be surprised if they got a mountain, and they did not. They went and got an island, but a mountain would allow them to just bolt on sight. All right, maybe they're getting it here with the Ash Barons. Nope, they got another island. Good deal. So I'm going to get to untap with the Flame Breaker. And draw. So let's play this. Ritual. Morphos. Green, red. I'm going to say land here, I think. Is that crazy? Yeah, I'm going to say land. Right of flame. Impulse. Impulse. Okay, and we'll just get in. Maybe I wasn't supposed to say land with the uh, the harvest, but too late now. I feel like I could have sequenced that a little bit better. Let's play the Kessig. Might get countered. Okay, now we can play the Archer, which, you know, attacks for more, so that's fun. Yeah, we're going to cast this first land grant, and we're going to fail to find. So that way we can cast the second one. Oh no, there's no more forest in my deck. But there is. Alright, and now you get in for one, putting them to seven. 
We're all out of spells, though. We have six cards in hand. That hurt. Okay. We might get to attack for two here. I would enjoy that. But I think what we really want is to find another Reckless Impulse. And Augur, so I can no longer attack. And I picked up a Bolt. I think we might have lost this. <laughs> Excuse me. Morphos is a good one. So they'll go to six. Red, red. Ah, uh, I just punted. Ah, uh, if I had done red, green, I could get pest summoning. Damn it. That hurts a lot. I didn't even think about first day being an out. Uh, that's such a bummer. Yep, definitely just misplayed. All right, so they'll go to four, and then this archer is going to die next turn. And we're just going to bottom these. The only way we come back is via relay now. That hurts a lot. I might have just cost myself this game. So the archer is going to get bolted, and they have five cards in hand. So uh, looking a little bit grim. And they have Ninja. Yep. And Brainstorm. Oh, Pass Summoning. Okay, I'm going to pick this one up. I feel like I threw game number two. I'm not going to say that we would have won game number three, but uh, why didn't I just float red green? Oh, well. 2-1. Round number four. We'll be here in a second. Just wait around. Hey! You're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. The fourth match, and we are facing a member of our Storm community, Jacob. And we're on the draw. They've been on the red-black uh, pinger Storm deck. We're going to keep this, but I'm not in love with this hand. It's the same deck we faced in round number one, assuming that they're on the same deck. Um, but I don't know if that's actually the case. They, they, they mostly play a lot of familiars, and it looks like they've gone back to familiars for this event. Okay, pass the turn. Okay, draw. Let's Reckless Impulse. And they've replayed the island and just passed the turn. I mean, let's play the Kessig Petal. Let's see if they respond. Petal resolved. Land Grant. Go pick up that forest. Uh, does Rite of Flame resolve? Let's find out. Rite of Flame resolved. Vesper Ritual. Let's Land Grant again. Go pull that Highland Forest out. Harvest. Non land. And relay for eight. Let's go. Jacob says that they're super dead. <laughs> I don't know if I believe it, but let's just uh, play through. Okay, draw. Let's play the mountain. And then we can play the goblin. Play the flame break. Ritual. First day of class. Discard this forest. Play the archer. I guess I could have played the, another first day of class there. It's a small mistake on my part. Uh, pedal. It doesn't matter. This game's over. 
uh, reveal our hand to land grant and reckless impulse. Woot woot! All right, so we've taken game number one over. Um, what is it called? Familiars. We're going to bring the pyro boss again. Could you try? Be quiet. I didn't call on you, Siri. Um, and then harvest. I think I'm going to keep the land grants in this matchup and board out the harvests. All right. So game number two, we're on the draw. We're going to keep this. I like having the goblins. And ponder. Draw. That stops me from playing uh, land grant next turn, which is kind of a bummer. Verdane. And Chancery, sure. Draw. I think we're supposed to just play the Reckless Impulse. Ponder again. Draw. Let's play the Ritual to see if it resolves. Good deal. That was all just free value for me. <laughs> uh, we're just going to pass the turn. Cycling Ash Barons, they got another island. Draw. Let's reveal our hand to land grant so I can go get a forest. And play our goblin. Okay, so they counterspelled that. Um I could go Lotus Petal, Goblin, Flame Break. I don't think that's really worth it. I think I'm just going to play the Flame Break here, or Flame Breather, I'm sorry. They're at 20, so we're pretty far away from winning at the moment. Two on top, they have the Familiar, Snap. All gravy for them. Alright, let's try... Hmm. Tough call. Maybe I just play Goblin this turn? I'm not sure. Another Counterspell, jeez. I'm just gonna pass. I still think the best way to beat this deck is for us to draw a Relay. We're over 25% of the way through their deck at the moment. And they've played a lot of Counterspells. Here we have a Mole Drifter. And they're snapping the Mole Drifter, sure. Another Sunscape. And Mole Drifter again. Ghostly Flicker, okay. Uh, yeah, they're doing well. Play the Kessig. See if it resolves. Hmm. Bright of Flame? Hydro Blast has occurred they haven't played yet that I'm a little bit worried about. Okay. Song? Okay, so they might actually be on a counters for the moment. Let's see what this Reckless Impulse can reveal. Can we get a relay? Ooh, they had Negate. Kind of a bummer. Um... I mean, I could get the test summoning here, but it doesn't actually do anything. And if I discard, I can't hit relay anyway. Maybe we just get introduction to prophecy. I feel like I might have blown this game. Jeez, no relays in sight. We just have to pass the turn. Okay, they're doing their thing. Uh, at this point, I'm sufficiently buried. I'm just going to go to game three. We're not winning this one. Womp womp. And I don't think I want to change anything. I'm just going to resubmit. Okay, game three. We're on the play. Let's try to get one. Relay. Love it. Okay, play the mountain. Pass the turn. Really want to maximize this relay. 
Turn one planes into cycle. Okay, Reckless was a good draw here. I'm going to pass the turn. We could try to relay now, but I feel like that's kind of greedy. Draw. What's the best way of doing this? I don't actually know. Um, I'm just going to start off on land grant. Grab the forest. Play the Kessig. Petal. Right of flame. Right of flame. We will pyroblast back. I think I could be wrong. I think you're probably supposed to just hold it because you're giving up a resource. I could be wrong. And then relay for eight. We do lose a first day of class here, but let's see what our eight are. Uh, honestly, that's not even very good. That's a lot of lands and cards we're not going to be able to abuse. It could have been better. For sure. Chancery probably picking up the planes here. Yep. Alright, so... Play Mountain. Play the Goblin. Did I play the Mountain from my hand? It doesn't say in the log. I feel like I might have... That might have been a mistake. Entering Ritual. Okay. What's Reckless Impulse? Petal. I'm going to Abundant Harvest. Non Land. Petal. And First Day. So they're at nine. I think I just get introduction here. Yeah, it's got to be introduction. And then we attack for one, putting them to eight. That relay could have been a lot better. And I feel like I messed up, but maybe I did play the land from exile, but I, I missed it when it happened. Okay, let's just attack first. Let's see what they do. I don't think they play flash creatures. And if they're going to hold open counterspell mana, I'm just going to pass. Ooh, that's not good. So now they can get back Hydro Blast and kill our uh, Flame Breaker. Yep. That's not good. Draw. Put them to three. And let's play Introduction. That's really good. Um, top, top. So they have Ephemerate, but they also have Flicker. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to cast the Pyroblast now or not. I feel like this could actually be the game. I'm just going to do it now. All right, so Snap. Mole Drifter, Ghostly Flicker, another Snap, okay, and Ghostly Flicker, yeah, that worked out well for them. On the bottom with Preordain, and now they have Counterspell up. Play the Goblin, Kessig, Disciplined. Okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. Seagate. All right, so we want to draw a relay. That's our best draw here. Damn, these snaps are killing me. Yep, and now they have flicker. Yeah, we're just in a lot of trouble. Draw. I don't think that actually does anything here. First day, we can discard the land grant. 
Okay, pest summoning doesn't do anything. I'm gonna cash in the land grant. Goblin? Come on, don't have anything in hand. Always yield. Archer. We know that they have flicker in hand. So if I swing out, they can flicker mold drifter, or they can just double block flicker. It almost doesn't make sense to attack. Because they block block flicker. Yeah, and then on their turn they can flicker to return snap. I think at this point I'm probably just locked out of the game. We needed our relay to be better. Like half of our half of our relay was lands. So I think the only way I win this is if like their entire hand was lands, but we're just dead. Yeah. Super dead. Yep. Snap Hydro. You got it. Okay, I'm going to concede. We've already lost this. Uh, so we're now 2-2. Two and two. Kind of a bummer, but let's just, let's just see if we can win the fifth and final match. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Cobalt and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, the final match. We're on the play. Let's just finish this with a positive record. Ugh, oh, Doc. Why are you doing this to me? I think we, we can't keep that. And this I think we're allowed to keep, and we just bought them the first day. So here we land grant, and we just get the duel on turn one, and then turn two we can get forced into playing one of these. Okay. Lang Grant. Pass the turn. Forest Elf. Okay. Reckless Impulse is a good pickup. Grab the Forest and play the Kassig. Elvish Mystic, so it is Elves. Or at least I believe it's Elves. Okay, so let's play the Firebrand Archer. I think I'm just going to attack for one. And then next turn I'll probably play the Reckless Impulse. I just feel like it's really uh, reckless to burn your entire hand to play Reckless Impulse right now. Okay, is this secretly walls? What's going on here? Draw. Let's play the impulse. They'll take two. Okay. Harvest ritual. Might as well cast the harvest, right? See if we, maybe we can get lucky and spike a relay. Abundant harvest. Non land. I think we're just going to pass. We can play. The ritual next turn. So they've untapped with Axe being Guardian. And it is, in fact, walls. They just had a very strange draw. Two cards in hand. Right now we're two spells short of lethal on our turn. Okay, building up mana. Boarding party into another Axe Bean Guardian. So we'll take six here. Not gonna block. All right, spell. Okay, we're one spell short of lethal now. And we just have to pass. No point in burning your entire hand right now. See what they have. Annoyed Allosaur into Overgrown Battlement. So as long as we draw a spell, I think we win. Oh, it's all creatures have haste. My bad. Um, so that's 12. I just have to block one. 
Can I go to one? Okay. Draw. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right of flame. Right of flame. Right of flame. Lotus petal. Desperate ritual. First day of class. Four lethal. Taking you to school. All right, just have to get one of these post board games now. And I think that this is a matchup where you just don't sideboard. Uh, we just submit as is and just try to squeak out one more win. I like this hand. Pretty good. Keep. Elves. Okay, pass the turn. Next turn, I wonder if we have enough mana to write... I think we do. Right of Flame Ritual Morphos. That's only four. But maybe I'll get lucky and spike something on the Morphos. Mana Morphos. I think we do it for green green. Did not hit. So we're just going to relay here. For five. That wasn't bad. Okay, so Battlement taps for three at the moment. Winding Way. That's Night Leah's Disciple. Okay. So, we don't have a green source. I think we just want to take the value off the mountain. Let's start on first day of class. Ooh, I could have gotten... Science. I don't know if that's actually worth it. Let's just get Introduction to Prophecy here. And then play Kessig. Ritual. Heal them one. Kessig. Ritual deals two. Prophecy floating one. That's going to deal them two. Um... I think I bottom that. Keep this. Cast first day. Just get another introduction. Move to combat and we can get in for two damage. All right. Four mana. Nylea's Disciple is going to gain them six life. And there it is. Weather. Okay. They have a lot of life. Draw. Um, I think I'm actually going to hang on to the Morphos. Let's just cast the introduction here. Put them to 21. Keep, keep. And we can get in for two safely here. That puts them back down to 19. Pass the turn. Boarding party. Into... I, m I missed it. This thing? Yeah, it was the, uh, another one of the defenders. So we're going to fall to 14. Draw... Let's start on Seething Song, I guess. And then Morphos Flag, Green Green. Petal. Goblin. Petal. And then Relay for five. Okay. That's pretty good. Pass the turn. Tapping the Battlement. Not sure what this is for yet. Is this annoyed Allosaur? Another boarding party. Okay, Axe Guardian. And I'm just gonna go to two. Draw. They have two unknown cards in hand. I think we just start on the Kessig. 
Lotus Petal deals three. Reckless Impulse deals three. Lotus Petal deals three. So if they have like a weather, it's going to be annoying. Oh, but we got the three two. Look at that. So this deck list, honestly, I know a three two isn't that impressive. As of right now, I wouldn't change a single card. Um, that said, if there's a card that I'm not playing that's really good in this deck, I'd love to hear about it. But I think right now this deck list is pretty good. I could have just played better in this league. So when we look at our losses, one loss was to me playing poorly and adding in the wrong colors with Manamorphose. So kind of on me. There could have been a game three. And then in our game three against Familiars, our deck on a relay for eight was 50% land. So we revealed four lands in our deck with only 10 in it. So not the best odds. Um, this deck's just really fun. It's very consistent. I think you'll like it. Outside of Lotus Petal, it's dirt cheap. I understand that Lotus Petal is an expensive card. If you don't want to play Lotus Petal, you could run Pyretic Ritual here as a budget option. So, yeah. Uh, not the end of the world. Lotus Petal does color fix for your Abundant Harvest and your Goblin and Archimancers, but if you want to run Pyretic Ritual there, the deck will run just fine. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep storming and have a great day. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.